An exam room may be an odd place for a parent conference, but at Syracuse University's school leader training program, Jody Manning is about to enter a tense conversation that will be familiar to administrators nationwide. Thank you. I appreciate your taking the time to meet with me today. Oh, that's what I'm here for. Great. Well, I, want, I wanted to tell you, first of all, that I met with Mrs. Best, Susie's counselor, okay. and um, it was a couple of days ago, and um, I wanted to bring to the attention of the school a bullying issue. Oh, I appreciate you bringing it to us, because we try to keep our eyes and ears open, but I, I honestly with you, we don't hear and see everything, so I can only react to what I'm aware of. So I'm glad you bring it, you bring it to my attention. I, I understand that. Mr. Manning is a real superintendent, but he's actually talking to a medical actor playing the role of the mother. She's trained to respond in character to triggers throughout the conversation and to provide feedback on Mr. Manning's performance after it's over. And, and we will do everything we can to put into it. Um, we will go to the nth degree where we, we haven't had it happen, but we're, uh, we will have a student arrested because, again, it's unacceptable behavior. And, um, and we're here for your for you. I'm here for you. I'm here for your daughter, and um, so is Miss Bass. So she's successful. We all want the same thing. We want her to enjoy her high school year, get an education, and set the foundation for beyond. It is really important to me that um, this be dealt with without um, everybody in the school knowing about it, and mm -hmm. that Susie isn't embarrassed more or taking put in more danger. Um, or that our family isn't oh, absolutely. absolutely. That's why we, you know, and also on the bus we have cameras. We, we, we installed all the surveillance cameras um, for the safety of the students and staff. Um, but that way we can monitor it and we don't have to put Susie in a situation where she has to come and look like a narcotel tail or whatever terms we're using. Um, when we deal with a student, we say that I mean, our school information resource officer is wonderful and she just she monitors videos all the time and students know you know this was you know we were going through the videos of the day and guess what we saw one they can't deny it doesn't put your daughter in the spot where she you know like she reported it um, but also when she reports something to the guidance she can never say so she came down or nor do i deal with students and say that you you and i met that's not um, that causes more problems it's worth and nor do I want to say, oh, Susie reported this. No, right. this is my job. I monitor these videos. Um, my job as the leader in this building is a safe sound, and with your behavior is unacceptable. And then we let the other parents aware too. Um, by the time, most of the time too, where the other parents are devastated and embarrassed too, and they get involved, and it stops. Uh, and if it doesn't, we work progressively. We're that type of person. We have alternative education for a person that doesn't want to come here and learn and you know enjoy the high school years. I never thought that I would see the day that something was like this happened to one of my kids. Well, yeah, I can imagine. And no one does, and you know. Again, I apologize that it's occurring, but you're absolutely doing the right thing by letting us aware of it. Again, I can only react to what I'm aware of. I try to know everything that's going on in this building. Really, do everything I can, but you know. It's not humanly possible. Yeah, so with, order. <laughs> and it, well, it's a partnership. You know, I don't know if you were in my orientation at the beginning of school year. I said it's a partnership with the students, the parents, and the school. And as long as we're working together um, for the success of the child, we're going to do it. And I consider this part of our um, part of our partnership. And um, again, you would believe how many parents just let it go, let it go, let it go until it's too late.